Hello everyone, this is Q from Evolute and welcome to the first video of our new series of Evolute Tutorials Pro, the step-by-step -step tutorials for mesh optimization. Today I'm going to show you how to do the planarity optimization on a mesh. Let's get started and open up our example file that I have prepared, which is also provided to you for downloading. It represents a skylight that you might want to optimize for the production process or any cost reduction or you might just be interested in optimization in general. This is the perfect tutorial for you to start with. If you are familiar with Evoluto Tools Lite, then you might know that the mesh optimization there is great, but if you really need your panels to be planar, let's say you want to have some flat windows built into your mesh, then that's where Evoluto Tools Pro will come in handy. The mesh that you can see here is the one we want to define as our reference geometry. To do that, first click on ET Clear Reference with your right mouse button. We want to clear all set references that might have been set earlier to make sure we don't have multiple ones. Now you can select the mesh and set it as our reference geometry with the left mouse button. Let's turn off our reference layer and get to the geometry we want to optimize. Here you can see our so-called coarse mesh which looks quite similar to the reference object. As the end result, we want this mesh to look pretty much the same as our reference object with all of its panels being optimized. The first step we need to do here is to subdivide our mesh a couple of times so we get the panel size that fits us most. For this example, we can choose the Catmo Clark subdivision algorithm that you can see here. It's been set as a default option, so you just need to hit enter. I will show the other algorithms to you in other tutorial videos. Subdivide the mesh one more time and the panels should look pretty much as how we want them to be. Now they have a decent size that we are happy to work with. The important thing here is to decouple our subdivided mesh with the coarse mesh one. You can either do that by clicking on the decoupling button, or in this case, because we won't be reusing our coarse mesh again, we will just delete it. This is the remaining mesh we want to optimize. With this analyzing tool, we can first check a mesh closeness to the reference geometry. For this example, we want to optimize the planarity of the mesh, so let's switch to that. As you can see here, we have these blue arrows, which means that the panels are planar or close to planar. We also have some orange and red arrows, which are the arrows we want to optimize. Here, we want to get as many panels planar as possible. So let's start with our planarity optimization. Firstly, we need to set the parameter for it. Click on the optimization options and you will get some values of importance and some of them have been set to 1. Look for planarity and we want to set that value to 1 here. You can vary this floating number and find the one that fits you or your mesh best. For this example, we will just set it to 1. The next value we need to set is the one for fairness curvature. If this value is set, the optimizer will try to minimize curvature to give the mesh a smooth appearance. We are going to set this value to a lower number of 0.2. Hit enter to set the value. For your own mesh, you might need to play around with the values for a bit to figure out the ones that work best for you. Because the optimizer will want to try to optimize the corners as well, but that is something we don't want it to do. For maintaining the corners being where they are and not getting chamfered through the optimizing process, we can use the function set vertex corner. We can use the auto detected corners function here to get the corners that can be detected. Here it got all the corners that we need and that's great. Hit enter and we're done with the setting of those corners. Let's see the magic happening. Click the optimization button. With one click and you can see that the red panels have been optimized. They are now yellow and greenish, which means that they are a lot more planar now. With every single step, the optimization algorithm, we try and optimize all the panels of the mesh. You can see the optimization going while have it running. You can process the optimization as far as it can get until you get the message that there's no more other changes possible. If we analyze the mesh now, there are quite some panels that have been optimized. But you can also see that the curves of the geometry have changed and that's not too helpful for our production process. The panels now have many many various sizes and geometries. So our next goal is to optimize the length of the edges of the panels. So these planar quads are of the same or nearly the same sizes and geometries. So stick with me until the next video and thanks for watching.